This video will walk you through the Sketchpad steps of the Week 3 Linear Inequality Sketchpad investigation. You can use this video instead of performing the steps in Sketchpad. Make sure you have the document open. I'm going to be going through the steps. You'll have to take the time and pause the video to answer the questions in green. So I'm going to open the sketch and I'm going to show the graph and I'm going to change the sign and I want you to see what that does to the graph. So I'm going to show the graph. Originally it's equals. I hit this. It becomes greater than or equal to. Now it becomes greater than less than, less than or equal to. Again, you're looking for patterns in what happens. Equals, greater than or equal to, greater than, less than, less than or equal to. You should now pause the video until you're done through question three. For step five and six, I changed my inequality to less than, and I also showed point F. F is at point one comma three. For question four, you will put the coordinates of F, one comma three, into the graph and indicate if it's a true or false statement. For question five, you can use any of the points that I have shown in the blue section. Again, you'll substitute in and indicate if that's a true or false statement. Pause this video until you are done with question six. In steps seven and eight, I changed our inequality. So we will now see the graph of negative two X minus five Y is less than six. I have also moved F to the point two comma three. Use this graph to determine if two, three is a solution to this inequality. Question eight asks if negative three zero is a solution to this inequality. Negative three zero is graphed and labeled as point J. Make sure you typed all the answers to these questions in your Word document, save and attach the assignment form.